organization also you know it's 28 hectares so it's partial organization to represent the best extent of the Baganda palace and architectural ensemble uh, it is built in the finest tradition of the Ganda architecture uh, and design so it reflects what we consider as the technical achievements developed over many centuries. Of course, the minister also mentioned the natural elements of the Kasubitan that are, as you all know, charged of historical, traditional, cultural, spiritual values. And we all know and we recognize it that it's a major religious center. It's a spiritual center of the Baganda. Now let me talk about the building that was gutted down itself, which you, you all call the Muzugi Azalampanga. We uh, recognize it you know, at the time of its inscriptions in 2001. I'm talking about the site. It was a typical example of uh, the palace. This was recognized. What was also important is that uh, its authenticity was recognized. Uh, its authenticity was not affected, although already some modern materials were uh, inserted in 1938 during the colonial time. Like you've seen, we went to the side, the steel structure, the concrete uh, poles that were, uh, were there, and the fire clay bricks also. Uh, but the thatched roof, you know, resting on palm trees, uh, uh, was still intact. Uh, the wooden poles wrapped in bark clothes decoration were still intact. Mm. Overall, and this is the reference, the authenticity of this Muzibi Azalampanga was very high and really determined its recognition by the world heritage as a masterpiece of human creativity. In Africa, we don't have many sites that are recognized as masterpiece. So, just to tell you that it is very important to have it in mind uh, uh, that it is a tragic loss, not only for Uganda, not only for Africa, but for the entire world. So we are here, and we came here with my colleagues on the request of the Uganda government. Uh, uh, the Uganda government requested UNESCO support in mobilizing the international community to assist in assessing the damage and also probably guiding on any remedial actions that will need to be undertaken. Uh, since we've been here, we conducted several working sessions and meetings with the, the government, with the Buganda Kingdom. We visited the sites. I am accompanied with a uh, well-known and uh, reference and qualified experts who know uh, the site since 1999. Uh, we uh, noted the desire, both from the government, from the Buganda Kingdom, to see the Muzibu Azalampanga reconstructed. And this was expressed by all. Uh, in conclusions, in conclusion, uh, what I would like to say at this stage, because as you understand, uh, we are still gathering the information. We have not yet concluded our our mission, but I'm already at this stage able to say, uh, after consultations also with my, uh, my colleagues, uh, that 
the World Heritage Site with this fire has been seriously treated with the destruction of this building. But what also I can say is that if you remember all the other values, although this has been seriously treated, but the other values are still there. So let me first cut it short. It is a World Heritage Site. We are also in agreement 